so one of the things that's kind of fascinating about sales and just about business development is that there is a, I would say, a hidden bias, if you will, or maybe in some cases an overt bias, if you talk to some of my clients, that they should be hiring extroverts and big personalities and people that are competitive, who can work rooms and be out there. So now everybody that I talk to in sales is grounded, at least from travel. They may go into an office, like I have some people that are the only person in their office, so they're, they're going in or most of the people are working virtually. So let's talk about that. Extroverts versus introverts during this time. What do you think, Blythe? Have you been hearing anything about that? Yeah, you know, it is interesting, right? So the folks that were looking forward to events to be able to like meet new people and get energy are having to think of different ways to get energy. So I am definitely a high extrovert. And <laughs> I started to realize by like the middle of this week, I was really feeling like a lot of my meetings got canceled, my schedule got screwed up and I didn't have kind of those doses of energy that I was normally going to get through the week. And I had to find different ways to get them either yeah. through like literally going for a walk instead or doing other things to kind of reset my energy level. And I'm sure there's lots of salespeople who, or business people who are extroverts who kind of were able to keep their um, tank full Yep. Um, with their old schedule and are now having to figure out what is that new way of managing it look like? Yeah. So how do you, I mean, one of the things that I was talking about, so I'm on the cusp, I'm an extrovert sometimes, I'm an introvert sometimes. So I, I found myself kind of enjoying the fact that I was kind of freed up because I had all these events myself. I mean, March, April, May are like events for salespeople. I mean, I had like every week, there was a new conference I, I, I was scheduled to go to, and now I'm here in my home office, right? But what's interesting is I, uh, I didn't quite have that same experience. Uh, one of my other clients was telling me that she has started to do virtual happy hours because she's like, you. she's an extreme extrovert. And so she wants to be like, she, she, she just is trying to find those ways. Oh, taking your dog for a walk, she literally said this to me on Monday, wasn't that enough? She needed to go and like have a cocktail with her people because that's what she normally did. <laughs> so any creative ideas you have for the extreme extroverts out there? Gosh, that's really funny. You know, like uh, I think a virtual happy hour or a virtual, I mean, even sales teams themselves. Right. And usually Friday is the day that everybody comes in the office in some way and like. We shares. always had lunch together, right? Yeah. Everybody, or everybody or, yeah. Right. And so how do you stay connected at, for your sales team? So that people feel like that those casual kind of moments of connection and community that extroverts need and salespeople need to feel like they're not alone because they're out, out, you know, hunting um, or if they're an account manager, kind of, you know, taking feedback all week and they need kind of that moment of community. And so I think the idea of kind of a virtual happy hour or a virtual lunch or, you know, um, even like, I mean, this may sound hokey, but like everybody listens to a podcast and then comes and talks about it or a book yeah. club. Those kinds of community building things are the things that people are going to feel like they look forward to and can make time for now that they don't have time spent commuting or traveling. There is a yes. little bit more time in all of our weeks to fit in a little bit more of that kind of stuff. And I think people would really you know, it, it's so new. I don't think a lot of that stuff has been pushed out, but it'd be really smart for leaders to, to put some of those things in place so people have an anchor to look forward yeah. to. 